There have been a lot of questions as to who and what and, well, no. Who can play different positions for the Las Vegas Raiders moving forward? We got that in our comment section uh, of a dear friend of ours that wants to us to do a video about it. And I understand it because it is a big question. There is a lot of coming in, a lot of things going on with this Raiders uh, offense and defense that have really, um, it's been really interesting to see. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't see a whole lot of changes uh, or players that have to play on uh, on the offensive side of the football. Now, I do see players that could potentially play a lot more, guys like Foster Moreau, because um, as we've said in the past, Josh McDaniels, you know, obviously he has been a big component of the, uh, or a big part of his offense, a big component of it is 12 personnel, one running back, two tight ends. So there is instances where I think you could see a guy like Darren Waller and also Foster Moreau on, uh, you know, playing tight end. But you know, I, I don't think there's necessarily going to be anybody playing different positions. Maybe along the offensive line, maybe, I don't know, Leatherwood goes back to guard tackle, but not a whole lot of changes on the offense in my mind. But the defense, that's where it gets fun. That's where it gets a whole lot of fun. And uh, here are three players and maybe even a position group, foreshadowing, uh, of uh, that I think is going to be or players that could have to change positions or possibly just have to do uh, or learn to play another position. Uh, number one, speaking of position groups, the entire Raiders defensive line. Everybody is going to just – this is the most fun thing I've seen in a while with the Raiders defense. Like – Everybody on this defensive line is going to do something different. Like, and it's not even it's not even a bad thing because everybody on that D line can do something better than everybody else. Like, it's like the the main job of coaches is to put them in the best position to be successful. What does that mean? It means if this guy's a better pass rusher than this guy who is more of a two down player, anyways, you got to supplement him on third down to be able to make some plays. It is the job of the coaches and the coaching staff to put those players that they have drafted, that they have developed, and that they have in that system to put them in the best position to be successful. And I think, man, just just take a look at this D-line real quick. We talk about, okay, Max Crosby is probably he's going to be your guy. This is more out of a 4-3, by the way. So, Max Crosby and Chandler Jones at your end spots. Okay, but if we go to a 3-4, uh, let's see here. What do, we, what do we think could happen here? Max Crosby probably could play that 5-tech, that, um, you know, that edge piece, if you will, or, uh, and, and also edge, excuse me, but he's probably going to play that five tech um, edge, you know, that defender, excuse me. And then you got the nose on the inside with Bilal Nichols and also Jonathan Hankins. I think Bilal Nichols could also play a little bit of that edge as well. Uh, and, you know, not that nose. He could play the nose, the edge, whatever you wanted to. Jonathan Hankins, let's put that man in the middle, let him do his thing. Vendel, uh, Kendall Vickers, I, I almost said Vendel Kickers. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> Kendall Vickers could do a lot of different things um, uh, for the Raiders. I think he could maybe be another candidate, possibly, but overall, we talk about all these different players that uh, could do a lot of different things. Cleveland Farrell, Honestly, a guy that was drafted, what, number four overall a couple of years ago hasn't quite lived up to that draft status, but maybe we can see a little bit of a resurgence because, let's face it, he's getting near that point where they're going to decide what they want to do with his fifth-year option. Uh, I believe it's coming up soon if they haven't already done it. I, I think that question is next to come up. Do they want to pick up his fifth-year option? I think right now that's clearly a no, but if he has a strong year, uh, maybe he could be a guy that comes in for relatively cheap after this whole thing and you know they can really decide what they want to do. But at the end of the day, Cleveland Farrell, when he was coming out of Clemson, 11 and a half sacks his senior year, was just a guy that was a stud. Uh, killed it at the combine, just a freak. So, I mean, maybe, honestly, if he would move back to outside linebacker or whatever, it doesn't matter to me. I honestly feel like he could play edge uh, in this new defense. He could play outside linebacker. Whatever you want him to do, uh, I honestly would love anything that you – any new – because, again, change of scenery, change of coaching staff, you never really know a lot of things can go on there. So, um, also – Chandler Jones uh, has played outside linebacker, has played defensive end. There's a lot of different things he could do that I think will really do and, and serve the Raiders well. So this entire defensive line is in a position where it really could. Even guys like uh, Kyler Fackrell uh, and, uh, you know, Devon Diablo, he's amazing. He just does so many different things. Malcolm Coons could probably play defensive end while Chandler Jones uh, comes in and play outside linebacker. Like, there's so many different things. Like, this entire defensive line, nobody's going to be in one specific position. It's going to be shuffling. It's going to be putting better pass rushers in on third down. It's going to be putting better run defenders in on the earlier downs like it really is going to be really interesting to see what they do along that defensive line because this is just this is scary all the different tools they have all the different uh, players they can put in different positions also uh, you know we'll get to divine diablo uh divine diablo in just a second um but uh, player number two that I think uh, that could really uh, do a, a transition is corner nate hobbs now the question is nate hobbs is was a dominant a dominant uh slot cornerback last year he was dominant in the nickel excuse me so 
The question is, do you want to mess that up? Do you want to try him at a different position where potentially, potentially, he could actually come in and play on the outside? Maybe. Maybe. I, I think if you, you know, and that's another thing. This, the cornerback and secondary position group, there's so much going on. There's so much going on. Um, that I feel like, you know, obviously you got Anthony Averett, you got Rocky Sin, you got, you know, uh, Trayvon Mullen Jr. Like you have so much going on in this Raiders secondary that I could see a lot of these different guys playing different positions as well. But Nate Hobbs, the biggest question to me is, do you want to put him on the outside? Um, you know, do you want to put Deron Harmon maybe on nickel? I doubt that. I think he's going to be that third safety that Patrick Graham likes to use. Um, you know, and I really think it's going to be interesting on this defensive side of the football because that's where I see a lot of the change coming for a team like the Raiders. And again, I do think moving forward, there's a lot of things they got to figure out in training camp, and there's going to be a lot of things that comes out of it. Back to Nate Hobbs here. Now, again, Nate Hobbs is a guy, you've got all these different guys on the outside playing in the secondary that are going to do a lot of different things. Uh, but I do think, again, you know, when you when you look at the Raiders depth chart, we've, we put out videos, uh, we, we've really done a deep dive on what we could see out of these corners. I do think Nate Hobbs could to do, could do a very good job on the outside. Uh, like I said, Jonathan Abram, Trayvon Moore, leave that man at free safety. Uh, but also at right corner, Darius Phillips, Trayvon Mullen Jr. Um, you know, Anthony Averett, you know, there is a lot that's going to go on with this secondary. I don't know, but I feel like the guy in the middle of it all is going to be a guy like Nate Hobbs. Could he move to the outside? If Rocky Asin, Darius Phillips, uh, uh, Trayvon Mullen Jr., Anthony Averett, if they aren't getting it done and they want to put, you know, I, I mean, maybe. I mean, also Tyree Gillespie, uh, uh, Tyree Gillespie, excuse me, Gillespie, I can't talk today. Nobody's talking about him. Like, I, I, there is a lot of talent on this Raiders secondary, too, that really could, uh, you could really shock some people. I think that, uh, yes, Nate Hobbs is going to be a guy that's in the middle of it all. You want to try him on the inside, the outside, whatever. But overall, I think this entire Raiders secondary is up for grabs, too. Like, this really, this, this entire defense is going to play at different positions because um, there's a lot of different things. And that's what training camp and OTAs, that's what all that is for, to see what these guys can play, what they can do. And I'm really excited to see, honestly, what it comes down to and where they do put a lot of these guys because I think it's really does your defense a lot of good to be able to have guys that can play three or four different positions other guys can that, that can play through three or four different positions uh, guys that are our number three player on this list uh, divine Diablo now Diablo to me when I watched tape of him last year I'm like huh who's this guy that's making all these tackles like who's this guy that's making all these plays you know, Diablo is one of those guys that 6 3 230 ish ran a 4 4 2 40 back in the day like that is beautiful <laughs> if you are a uh, a defensive coordinator if you are in the uh, you know if you're a db coach if you're a linebacker coach you love that versatility a man that can cover linebackers or excuse he was already a linebacker a man that can cover tight ends because he's got the size to do it a man that's got the speed to cover running backs and wide receivers uh yes please so divine diablo is going to be one of those guys that he needs to be honestly he needs to be the jack of all trades for this defense because he's big he's fast he's athletic a former third round pick out of virginia tech they need to use this guy and whatever it matters doesn't matter he needs to be uh, around the field he needs to be the rover or whatever the, the term is for the defense this guy needs to be he's going to be a difference maker and he needs to be played as such because i can see you putting him at three or four different positions you talk about outside linebacker inside linebacker you talk about uh, potentially at safety or, or slot corner maybe even outside corner i don't know but divine diablo needs to see the field a lot more he's a guy that i'm really excited for because again he's got the size and the speed to do whatever you want him to do pencil him in put him in let him make plays uh, yeah, what did he start like five games last year? Had like 50 tackles. He was a difference maker. Yeah, just uh, honestly, I think he's a guy that could play a lot of different positions and can do a lot of different things for the Las Vegas Raiders defense. But that's it. Those are our three players and a position group that we think uh, could all play different positions or change positions next year. Again, a lot of things going on with this defense. It's going to be really interesting to see how it all unfolds. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. We love every single one of you. In the description down below, you find all of our social media platforms. Give us a like and a follow there. Also remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or, or put in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think of our three Las Vegas players that could change positions.